Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys a car customization guide and buy-in guide for the Anus Huntley S Sport SUV. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please drop a like in the video guys. I would really appreciate it. And click the link in the description if you want to check out all my other high life videos. So first we're going to go to the internet app, obviously down to legendarymotorsport.net, down to the second row where we're going to find the Anus Huntley S, a four-door car or four-door SUV, I should say, that's going to end up setting you back $195,000. This does come from the real life Bentley family, so that price tag is pretty appropriate for an SUV like this. But other than that, let's get started. So this is what it first looks like coming out of the garage. You can see it's actually really sporty for an SUV. A lot of the sports uh, and crossovers in this game don't actually look that nice, but this has got a really nice look to it. I really like the sleek design. Obviously, coming from the Bentley family, you expect something like that. So we're going to take this to the Los Santos Custom Shop, and we're going to make it as nice as possible. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There's not a ton of customization options on this SUV, which is expected of a car like this, but I'm going to try to make it as nice as possible for you guys. So the first thing we can do is actually take a look at the exhaust, and my favorite is the big bore exhaust. You can see it has that nice bluish afterglow ring around the outside. I really like the look to it, and it's really the best one, I think, in my opinion there. Now, as far as the hoods go, I actually went with the double vented hood, and it looks kind of awkward right now because it's a different color than the rest of the car, but trust me, that's actually going to look really nice once we actually change the rest of the color of the car. Now, as far as the roof, there's only really one option. It's the roof rack. I recommend you go with it. It makes the car look nice. As far as the wheels, I went with the Sport GT1, and I, of course, made those alloy. When you're looking at a car like this, you're not going to be looking at some super fancy wheels as it, of course, is a crossover SUV. So I went with the alloy wheels right there there and I gave the car custom tires but other than that I didn't do anything too flashy to it now as far as the color I went with a wine red metallic and you can pretty much imagine where I'm going with this as far as the pearlescent I went with a red pearlescent which gives it a nice red shine so you've got that deep red finish and the nice red shine and as far as the secondary color I'm gonna make it a wine red to match the rest of the car so the hood looks really nice you can see that it looks great now now that it is the same color as the rest of the vehicle and then I just put a light smoke on the window so you can see this is what the car looks like it's got a nice kind of candyish dark red finished tint to it and I think it looks really nice uh, obviously I'm gonna be keeping this car uh, it's a nice four-door car and if of course you modify it up all the way you can actually get some pretty good statistics out of it so it can go pretty fast it can carry a lot of people four people and uh, it's an overall just really nice looking car so I know the Anus Huntley S has earned a spot in my garage what about you guys definitely leave me a comment down below on what you think of this vehicle do you like it are you a fan or is it just you know not there compared to the other vehicles so leave me a comment down below i want to hear from you guys and of course leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and be sure to subscribe to catch all my daily videos and of course more high life dlc content that's going to be on my channel later today other than that guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video